This is my beloved sulfur crested cockatoo named Icky, short for Icarus. Uh, he's about 33, 34 years old. I adopted him about four or five years ago off of a school teacher who lost her husband and she could no longer take care of him. And uh, I got him for a bargain. I got him for like 500 bucks with two cages, toys, and everything else. And I really didn't know how it was going to work out. Somebody told me way before I even came across this parrot that cockatoos are the worst nasty bite you can get from a parrot. And that always stuck in my mind. But when a person came up that I had, well, I adopted a parrot from this woman, uh, actually a, a Timney Gray, a male African Gray. She uh, remembered me. This is like a year or two after. <clears throat> She came by my house because she forgot my phone number. And she knocked on my door and asked me if I remembered. I was like, nah, you look familiar. So she told me who she was. Okay. Yeah. She goes, how are you doing with Georgie? I'm like, ah, he's doing good. And she was very happy. Um, she was a little leery about adopting it out, him out to uh, somebody because she didn't know how they are going to take care of him. So anyway, she kept me in mind and her girlfriend which was in her 60s was probably retiring age for her. i guess a philadelphia school teacher and her husband died and she wanted to move on with her next chapter of life and the bird was kind of a hindrance so i went over to take a look at it with the idea i was just gonna look and maybe i could find a home for him and uh, i ended up buying icky on the spot for 500 bucks and that's been four or five years ago and He's the he's my life. I love him dearly. There's so much um, negative side to having a cockatoo. As you can see, look at any YouTube video and they will tell you how they love their parrot, but don't get one of these. Do not get a cockatoo because they demand love. They want your love all the time. And some parrots bite if you don't. And some parrots whine and whine, and fucking whine, until they get their way, and you get nothing done, I got shit I gotta do around the house, but I gotta take care of him, because I love him, I love him dearly, I have no kids, I'm not married, so he is my child, I have, um, a son Conyer, a peach front Conyer, um, a female Quaker parrot, I lost my male Quaker pair about three weeks ago unexpectedly for no reason. He died. Um, I have an African Grey Congo. A uh, Timney Grey Congo. I'm sorry, Timney Grey. Um, 11 parakeets. Started out with four, but they kept on having babies. And uh, one cockatiel, a male cockatiel. So, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty overwhelmed with taking care of these birds. But then on top of that, having him, it just makes it that much worse. If you have things you pursue, you love, like my thing is building scale car models and military aircraft stuff like that. I don't, I can't do it because every time I start working on a kit, he'll come down on my shoulder and try to grab the fucking paintbrush out of my hand. Or the paint out of my hand. Or tear up the model. Or rip the box apart. It's just impossible. I can't do it. And I really enjoy this stuff. So anybody that has. This is a dedication to my mom and dad by the way. Lillian. Or Howard and Lillian Haraway. Farrell Sills. Lower Bucks County, Pennsylvania. <clears throat> Again. This dude is a prima donna. He loves to be loved. All the time. And he whines and whimpers like a puppy when he doesn't get his way. Think twice about getting one. I know they, they look snuggly and sweet. And they are. But they do bite. He hasn't bit me in a long time. Nothing hard anyway. Anyway, have a good day guys.